Hey, good morning, guys. Um, excuse my morning hair and clothes and whatever. Um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to reach out and tell everybody who has looked at my site so far and who has followed me a big thank you. It's kind of a new adventure for me to put myself out there like this. I don't normally like all the attention. But, you know, during this weird time in our lives and the whole world's kind of still on lockdown and, yeah, we're, things are starting to get back to normal. You know, I've found my love of art again and I painted, I've, you know, I've, this last year I painted a lot for friends. I did Christmas gifts for everybody. But now I kind of want to paint for everybody. At first I wanted to sell them, but I realized, you know, not having a business license, I don't want to get myself in trouble by selling things when, you know, I mean, we own a business, we own the Washington Wood Floors, I know everything that goes into business, and I don't want to get in trouble for that. So, for now, all I'm asking is for donations. If you want to help buy supplies, if you want to buy me supplies, if you just want to give me a donation just because you feel like it, if you want to give me something for a painting, that's great. But really, I just want to paint for people. It makes me happy to paint. I enjoy people's reactions. I enjoy the happiness it seems to bring to other people. Um, yeah, that's really, you know, on the site I've put my Amazon wish list that's just for painting. It doesn't have everything on there that I wish I could have. You know, one thing I really wish I could have is a CNC machine so I can start doing other types of art. I've, I'd love to be able to do, take my paintings and have them, put them into the CNC machine and then it comes out on a piece of wood and it looks like it's been carved out but really it's the C machine CNC machine that has carved it out. I'd love to be able to do wood, funny wood signs or even serious wood signs for people. And, you know, I just, I don't know, being stuck at home, two kids, we don't go anywhere, we don't do a whole lot. Don't get me wrong, I love my family and my kids. But I want to do something for myself and this makes me happy and I really enjoy it. I've started doing paint and sip nights probably, I don't know, three or four years ago. And I've done a lot of them. And then I started kickboxing and I had to choose. And at that point it was, I needed to choose my health over my hobby. I still need to choose my health over my hobby, but right now I can do both because I'm at home. And I've got my own little workout gym in the garage. And I can also sit, you know, right at my little art studio is in the kitchen. In the corner of the dining room. I have all my stuff. It's for now it works. But yeah, really, you know, I just wanted to come on and tell everybody thank you. Everybody who's received paintings. I really do hope you enjoy them and that they came from the heart. And it was something that I just really wanted to do for everybody, especially for Christmas. You know, people say thank you and, and things like that, but, it, you know, I don't know. I just, I really do hope you guys, everybody appreciates all the time and thought. And some of my paintings didn't turn out the way I wanted them to. But I can also be my own biggest critic. And that's something I have to learn not to do. But I always feel like, you know, they have, I have to make it better. I have to do better. And some of the paintings I sent out, I did not like. There was a few of them that I did not like. I wished I could redo. Or I would have had time to redo and I could have redone them. But, you know, you're strapped for time. Strapped for cash. Painting is not cheap. 
Now I know why they're called starving artists. It's either you paint or you eat. I do have, you know, I have a pretty good supply of paints on hand. Canvases, on the other hand, I don't. I use a lot of the board 8x10 canvas. It's these kind of canvases. They're just boards, you know, flat boards. This is a painting I'm working on for a friend that I promised last year and never got to her. And I felt really bad, and so I decided, you know what? I'm going to do it now. I didn't have time, but I'm going to do it now. My turtle, you know, I love... I, the one thing I've learned is I love, I love to draw sea turtles. And that turtle shell, I'm going to fix. There, I mean, there's some... Some lines on it that don't end where they should or begin where they should. But that's all painting. You can fix it. You can fix anything with a paint, you know, with paint. This one here, this is more of a, this is the stretch canvas. It's thicker, you know, it's got the, and this one I'm doing for another friend of mine. Right now, this is just the background. And normally I don't let background sit for this long, but this background is different. I had to let it sit and dry completely before I could do more. I also had to wait for new paints to come in because I don't have the right colors. And yesterday I got some new paints and brushes and more paint pens. But yeah, I just, you know, I really just wanted to come on and... Show everybody, yes, I'm a real person if you don't really know who I am. And that, you know, this is just something that I decided I really wanted to do. And who knows, maybe I'll get super overwhelmed and decide I can't do this anymore. And if that's the case, then I guess, you know, that's the case. But know that I'm trying, I'm, my, my goal is to add new content, maybe not necessarily paintings, but post, you know, I might do blog posts, I might do video posts, I might, you know, let everybody know of some crazy idea that I've got, see if anybody would, you know, see if it's something that people would want, you know, kind of pull the masses and see what you guys think, and um, so I'm going to make posts like that. And, but when I do finish one that I feel like could be one that I would want to reproduce so other people can have it, then I'll post it. Ones that I'm not going to reproduce but I still want to show off, I will put under the About Me page on my page or on my website so you guys can see what I've done. But also know that those ones, unless I say otherwise, they're gifts for people. And, you know, gifts for people that are people I don't, or people that I know, fam friends and family. I don't want to reproduce their stuff because I don't want them to feel like it was a, oh, you made this for me, but now you're going to make it for somebody else type of thing. I don't want anybody to feel that way. If, you know, you got a painting from me and you don't mind if I reproduce it, then let me know. And I also might, you know, paint something similar, but it's not exact. It's, you know, it's, it's a whole new painting. And... For me, at least for me, I don't know about other painters out there, but for me, I can never re reproduce the same painting exact the same way. Even if I painted it a million times, it would look different every single time. Because I just, I don't know if I just physically can't or if it's just a I don't want to type of deal. And I don't want to make exact paintings that are exactly the same that everybody sees. I want them all to be unique. I've, you know, I'm I've reached out to people that have have gotten paintings from me to please number number them, put the number 1 on them. 
I'm not saying that I'm reproducing your painting at, by any means. I just want you to know that that's the only copy. That's the only one of its kind. If I were to reproduce it, I would put a number two on it. If for some reason I became super famous and had, you know, you know I turned into Thomas Kincaid or Van Gogh or, you know, whoever. And, you know, my paintings became millions of dollars. Know that that first, that number one painting would be worth more than a number 10, a number 400, a number whatever. Having that number one written on the back, it means it's the first one and it's one of a kind. Because honestly, I w wouldn't be able to reproduce it the same way. The background would look different. The whatever I painted for the main thing and it would look different. Um, yeah, so if you did get a painting from me, I do ask that you you put a number one on it. From now on, any of the paintings I do before I send them out will have a number one put on them. If I decide to reproduce a whole bunch of them. I will number them accordingly and you know maybe one day I'll be able to just sell them outright and not have to worry about donations and really you know my donations it's not when I I guess when I donate or not when I donate when I buy stuff on Amazon I have my Amazon account set up to where it gives a donation to the kids app or to the to the Kitsap County, um, 4-H and FFA. And that's just my way of supporting them because I was in 4-H and FFA as a kid. It was something I really enjoyed. I think it's helped make the person I am today. And so when I go on and order anything from Amazon... Part of, you know, they, they make a donation in my name to the Kitsap County Livestock, FFA, and 4-H. And I'm not sure if it works if you guys buy stuff off or order stuff off of my wish list. I don't know if it proceeds go to them or not, but, you know, if it makes you feel better about donating to me you know I can I can see if I can't set something up to where part of your donation will go to the 4-H and FFA of Kids Up County um I believe I I really believe it's a good they're they're it's a good group it's a good learning experience uh, um you know, it keeps you out of trouble. Um, yeah, there's... I desperately want my kids to be in 4-H. Madison will be old enough next year. Thomas still has a few more years before he can join. But I don't want them to be obsolete. And, you know, we didn't go to the fair this year because it was not there, but past years we've gone to the fair. I personally raised pigs when I was in 4-H and FFA. And just going into any of the barns, animal barns, even the pavilion, and just where they do the displays and everything, where they do all the projects for the kids, it's really sad to see that there isn't that many kids wanting to do something. I know it's a different day and age from when I was a kid, and I also know that, you know, technology has kind of become our lives. We cannot live without it. And it's really sad that we cannot live without it. And I always say, what are we going to do when technology fails us? And so I want to leave you with that today. What will we do when technology fails us?